One of the first things that you have to consider when you're designing and building a house from scratch is where the sun flies overhead, where it rises, where it sets, where it's at its apex in both the winter and the summer, and then how the house is going to respond to that sunlight coming in. So we're here in Texas, 8 a.m. on June 24th, and I'm already sweating. But because it's June 24th, we're really close to the time of year where we're at the summer solstice. That means that the sun is at the highest point that it'll be all year. It's at the northernmost point. As we get later in the year, the sun at noon is going to fall back to the south. So I'm facing north, that's facing south, that way's east, that way's west. And even today, after about 9 or 9.30, this sun will completely go underneath that giant overhang that you see over my shoulder. This is a 15-foot overhang to the north and about a 8-foot overhang back to the east. So as soon as that morning sun comes up, we get the good light. They're in their kitchen. They're making coffee. They get to see the sunrise. And then, boom, you're right into shade. And on the other side of the house, it's the dirty side of the house. It's the side of the house where we put our air conditioners, we have our vents coming out of the wall. All the stuff you don't really want to see is on that side of the house because that's the west side of the house. And that sun that bakes down onto the house in the late afternoon hits a solid mass of limestone and then insulation. And we're going to go into all of that on the perfect wall episode here in a few, in a few more releases, I guess you would say, over on the build show. 